1509 report in the mix long awaited highly anticipated thank god something like this came out dj hero Long awaited, highly anticipated, thank God something like this came out is probably the best introduction I've had for this game yet. I appreciate that. Tell us about it. I mean, people have been like, you know, since the guitar heroes and the rock bands of the world, game lovers have been saying, it's all rock, it's all band, it's all this, but there's a whole, you know, generation and this whole, uh, there's hordes of people who are into. DJ based music and DJs period. Tell us how this all came to be. Absolutely. Um, DJ culture and the whole mashup craze has really started to pick up over the last few years, at least from what I've noticed. Um, growing up in the Bay Area, we get a lot of, you know, these world class DJs, these amazing mixes coming through on radio and clubs and whatnot. So, what we've done is try to take that Guitar Hero formula of easy to play yet difficult to master gameplay that everybody is familiar with expand it to, like you were saying, genres of music, audiences of people that were looking for this, that were looking for the hip hops, they were looking for the R&Bs, they were looking for more pop, more dance, you know, the Jay-Zs, the Daft Punks, how do we get them into a video game? And, and this was it. So we take, you know, over 100 great pieces of music, put them in the hands of world-class DJs, whether they're talent DJs, guys like Shadow, guys like Z-Trip, uh, just Jazzy Jeff, Grandmaster Flash, wound up with over 93 unique, unique mixes that you can only play in the game. And what they're doing, with the, what we're doing with the gameplay is simulating those mixes as the DJ performed them. Getting into the turntable, you have you know, the three buttons that represent different tracks. You'll have one record on the green track, a second record on the blue track, and a sample stream that's dedicated to just samples here so that you're firing off samples on any of the three tracks, you're holding down a button to simulate scratching, you're crossfading to isolate one of the records, you're doing these really quick stabs to get you know, just a, a quick isolation on one of the tracks, you have an effects knob that'll let you pitch up and pitch down, and up here you have a Euphoria button, which is similar to Star Power and Guitar Hero in the sense that it allows you to double your multiplier, you know, bonus effects that, that make the game look better, sound a little better, and the way you acquire that is identical to Guitar Hero, where you hit a series of notes in this sequence perfectly, and you're rewarded with a Euphoria bonus. So as far as gameplay goes, is there head-to-head? -head? Is there online? What, what's, uh, what's available? Yeah, you'll have the competitive gameplay that you know really DJ culture is about with these battles. And you'll have that DJ versus DJ. You will be able to do that online. But two other elements that we're really excited about is you will actually be able to plug in one of your Guitar Hero controllers and play DJ on one track, a guitar track on the, on the, second, on the second side, and you know play with your buddy. There were 10 tracks created exclusively for DJ versus guitar that are really cool. But then for people that aren't you know, very familiar with the turntable or with the guitar, they can plug in a USB microphone and shout out and rap over the tracks as they fit. The game does recognize audio and will recognize a USB microphone. Are there plans to have other DJs added as maybe downloadable content? We're definitely looking into downloadable content. We haven't announced all of our plans yet. We will have stuff at launch. That is something that we have the ability to do is to go back to other DJs and say, hey, look, we'd like you to create, you know, a three song pack with, you know, these six songs, you know, can you make three mixes for this? The possibilities are really endless because of the ability to use any music that they want. Um, but also adding to the game through downloadable content or, you know, who knows, maybe future versions of the game. Can you tell us when we'll finally get, get to be able to put our hands on this? Consumers throughout Canada will have their opportunity starting October 27th. October 27th, that's a big day, big day. Thanks a lot. Right, thank you. All right.